Hello Superherd and welcome back to A Hat in Time. And today we're gonna be continuing on by, of course, continuing with chapter four. Um, We're getting pretty far into it. I don't know how close we are to the finale, but I think we need to complete one more area and then we can go to the finale. So hopefully if everything works out, we can actually complete the chapter in this episode. That's what I would like at the least. So let's continue with, with uh, doing whatever we'd like really in the free roam. Hooray. So we haven't gone to the spooky lava area yet. I think that's the final area we just haven't sort of touched upon. So yeah, it'll be what we're focusing on today and hopefully it's good. I mean, I really don't know what the ending will be for this chapter because you know, a lot of it usually has some pretty obvious like story climaxes, but so far this one really hasn't. Like I don't really, like it's not really story adventuring, it's more just, you know, adventuring. Which once again, I've said this multiple times, that's totally fine, I'm totally fine with it. But it does make it very peculiar and makes me want to speculate on what might happen. Um, I had the hook shot, so I don't know why she did not hook shot there. But you know what? Maybe this time I'll be a bit more lucky. Let's get up there again. Am I not at the right angle for the hook shot? Oh, there we go. Because, cat kid, cat kid, kid of hat, what are you doing? See, was that so bad? I don't think so. Not one bit. Yeah, not happen. Okay, so. We actually, yeah, we do want to go this way. Okay, perfect. So so this should be the correct way. Wow, this is spooky and lava filled. I like it. It also keeps me fearful. Oh gosh, watch out, Hackett. You almost just took a little dip in that lava. Oh boy. Um, I'm a little nervous here. I don't know if we can actually take damage on this. I don't want to find out the hard way though. Sizzling lava bin. Oh no, split. Sizzling lava split. Uh, oh, we're going up there. Not too much context for this one. Just go and get it. Oh, boom. Oh, hello, you. This heat is great. Oh, it's even hotter to the right. Oh. Maybe we should go to the left first. Ease our way into this heat, you know? What? Hack kid. <laughs> what is going on with Hack kid today? She just can't get it done. She just ain't on her A game. Maybe she, didn't, maybe she skipped breakfast. You never this skip breakfast when you're going on a platforming adventure. That just ain't right. Oh, boy. You gotta have your, you know, your, your Frosted mini wheats, maybe a banana, you know, a bagel with cream cheese, you know, if that's your thing. That kind of thing. You gotta get that big healthy breakfast. Mm-mm, good. Okay, so let's plop here. Mystifying time mesa. Times one. Alright, I it was a horn times one. I don't know why, but I forgot to read the horn part. Uh well, it doesn't have to lead the peaks as long as it uh leads to uh Oh get out of here! <laughs> I don't wanna deal with you. What do you know? Um Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. Hmm. How do I get across and, oh, down here. And, oh, the sneakiness. Oh, yeah, see that's how I landed on. Sometimes you land on the birds and nothing happens. You just get hurt. Oh, I guess that's something. Oh, oh, it's a time thing. I don't like that. I don't like that. Oh gosh. Wow, it doesn't give you much time at all either. Uh, turn around. Oh, not quite yet. There's no way. There's no way. Oh, come on. And it doesn't freeze your character. So she fell off. That is so unfair. No, there has to be a better way. There has to be a better way for sure. I'm doing this wrong. Cause I can just go up there and, no, almost. If I go like that and then, dang it, I kid. Oh man. I, ha I have to be able to do it that way, right? If I go like that and then I go, go, go. No. Huh. One more time. Let's just do it like this then. Go like that, get up here. And Maybe if I don't mess this part up as much as physically possible. Yeah, okay, we might be able to get this. I think we can. And got it, got it, got it. What? Oh, geez, I, th I think I almost fell through there. That would have been a little awful, wouldn't it have been? Well, okay, that was an interesting little challenge. We haven't seen much of that kind of stuff in this game. Oh, okay. Uh, let's get up. No, hold on. Yeah, okay. Hmm. I see a button here and a button there. I'm going to assume I have to hit both? Maybe even more than two? All right, um, whoa, heck, what? Kid of hat, why? Why did you just turn around for no reason? I don't understand. And now we're way back here? That is so unfair, why did we fall back here this time? I gotta do that again? No. Okay, um, the timer sort of fades out there for a second, which freaks me out. Wow, that is so quick. That is so alarmingly quick. I guess I gotta follow maybe the wire a little bit more then. Um, why is the button still pressed down? Um, well, it restarts the time regardless, so does it really matter? And then I press this button, 
timer's going down again. I don't understand why. I'm a little confused. Um. Hmm. Well, clearly it's not for that. Because there's a hook shot there. What are those blue buttons for? Maybe a trinket of some sort? But did I run out? Of it was probably for a trinket then, yeah. Okay, weird. Oh, you get out of here. <laughs> I keep forgetting I have this, it's amazing. Oh, it would be cool if she sort of auto-aimed. Okay, this area is looking pretty nice. I mean, I don't know if this is the way I'm supposed to be going right now. It definitely isn't hot, though. The the, the one uh, little person was right. Ooh. Ooh. Go back here and land over here. And then, oh geez, if I didn't run into that fence, that might have worked. Oh geez, oh gosh. Oh. Ugh. No, no way is this happening. No, wait. Yeah, I did it. Okay, I got extra time. I got extra time. Yeah. Oh, hey, I did that one. That one gave me the horn. That was really tough. These ones, they aren't being scared of being a challenge. Which ain't a problem. It's just an observation. There's a trinket up there. I don't know how I get up there. And those buttons have restored themselves over there, though. But we don't quite want to be finished yet because I think there was another path we didn't go to. And I'm glad we can go that way though, that's cool, I guess. Oh, is that gonna give me the trinket? Oh, okay. Then I should be able to ride that back, no problem. Hmm, you've cleared Mystifying Time Mesa, hooray! Okay, weird. Hmm, yeah, just plop down here. Get this right here. Yay, and that is a Rift Token. All right, well, I'm not quite done. Why, why, that kid, being a little weird with that. Can I not uh, ride this thing from here? I guess, oh, okay. I was a little worried it was a one-way trip. That wouldn't have been cool. Hmm. So at least we gotta go over there. I don't know if there's gonna be anything fantastic or whimsical over here, or if it's gonna be like two things, but we're gonna find out. Yeah, there is something over here. Hmm. Then what about over down here? Nothing really. I don't know what's with this little pocket. I mean, maybe. Oh, no, this is how we got up here. Oh, duh, I'm just looking at it at a different angle, it looks weird. Okay, so let's uh, get across to this. Yep, and then that one. Oh, yep. Okay, we're doing okay, we're doing okay. Uh, This one warns of something spooky, I don't like that. Um, Hello? I don't know, but we'll be quick about it, because I don't know what might end up showing up here. Um, Am I doing this wrong? Uh. Oh, maybe I have to, yeah, see if you close this. Oh, you gotta be quick about it. Or I could just slow down time. I forgot that I got that hat. Go, 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 go. Oh, look at me, look at me. What is this? Oh, it's just another Rift Token, but still, very cool. We got ourselves a Rift Token. I get it, I get it, cool. Oh, and that's how I do these. So I've been doing them sort of the hard way. People are probably yelling at their TV screen or their monitor like, no, Zaber, that's not how you do it. This is not how it is done. Hold on. Um, ready, point. Uh, uh, oh, ow, my face. <laughs> All right, open that one up. And then we got out of here nice and easy. So we'll be able to do the buttons quicker as well. Or at least slightly quicker. I mean, it seems like it's doable without it, but hey, you know, if I can take the easy road, I absolutely am. I do not play for glory, I play for fun. Okay, do that. The timer is going slower. Whoa, and then got it. Yay! Was that, was that it? Really? That's all that one was? Okay, I thought that was gonna be like a, you know, maybe like a something, <laughs> anything, but I guess not. Um, I probably shouldn't be doing this way. I should go back to, yeah, I guess I should go back and, I mean, I just don't know if there's anything else I missed where we got the first drift token, so I'll go find out. So I guess there isn't, I'm just really good at wasting my own time, so I guess we gotta go back this way now. Yeah, there were two paths, you know, she was talking about one of them isn't so cold, the other one is. So, I mean, other isn't so hot, the other one is. That one was the uh, not so hot one. We got some cool stuff from it, but nothing mandatory. So, let's go back and do, I guess, the more specific way. Oh, I'm glad we did that way first, though, so I'm not regretting anything. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, maybe. What if this is gonna be the easiest timepiece out of the entire chapter? I'd be, I'd be surprised, but at the same time, I want to entirely put it past this game. It could be silly. Lava cake. Lava cake. Yeah. Lava cake it is. There it is, way up there. I mean, maybe it's not too far away. 
But usually, it's quite the winding path to get to those kind of things, so I won't be too surprised. But this should definitely be our last one before and, um, we get to the finale, whatever it's gonna be. I'm really curious about what the finale could be. Maybe it's gonna be like a mafia kind of thing where it's like, you know, the town is under an issue and you have to save it, you get out of here. The hipster birds are the worst. There you go, I'm just Kamehameha and those guys away. You get out of here. Um, oh, oh, that was a bit of a face plan. You okay, Hackin? I don't have to say, it is very nice to see games like this actually coming out. I mean, it's something I've been waiting for for a little while. I mean, I know, like I said, you know, ukulele and that kind of stuff, but not, like besides that topic, like I know back in like I'd say, you know, starting around 2010, but really, you know, flourishing around 2011 and 2012 and stuff, we saw sort of like a, I guess a renaissance of any e e games, you know, stuff like Super Meat Boy, Fez, a lot of these games inspired, but also trying to take new takes on the games that those indie developers grew up with, which was mostly like 2D platformers, but, now it seems like developers that I guess are a bit more my age are starting to come up a little bit more, who instead of them, I, I thought we could maybe hit this to uh, spin it, but I guess not. But um, developers that I guess are a little closer to my age who grew up instead on, you know, m classic Mario and stuff, they grew up on um stuff like, what's it called? They grew up on stuff like, Mario 64 and Banjo-Kazooie and stuff. So now that's sort of the new thing to be making indie games inspired by on because, you know, it's just what that generation of indie developers, you know, sort of on the come up right now sort of made. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time explaining that. So it's a really simple concept. Wow, we are getting closer than I thought. I mean, we still gotta climb the lava cake. That is crazy. I didn't really think they meant literally a lava cake. But it is cool to feel, you know, play a game like this. It feels like an answer to where have those games that, you know, came out in the N64 and more importantly the GameCube era, where did they go? Maybe they, they they got dropped into the lava cake, who knows? This is the lava cake. Yeah. Okay, whoa. And I mean, I still think that's still happening. You know, I think that there's still, you know, some parts of the 3D platformer this drama that can be properly revitalized. Cake. I know there's currently a game being made that was just recently, I don't know if it has been finished kickstarted or if it's still being kickstarted right now, but it looks just like a Spyro game. And that's sort of the point. It's supposed to have that PS1 aesthetic and it looks so cool. And I so want to play it. I forget what it's called right now. Like this anyway. And I would really have to see an indie take, oh boy, on, yeah. hmm. I'd really like to see an indie take on Ratchet and Clank. That's one I really want to see. Because Ratchet and Clank is a really unique one out of the 3D platformers, and it's one of the most satisfying ones. The thing I like about this game is, yeah, it's really similar to some of the GameCube classics, but to me, this one is really similar and reminds me the most of Sly Cooper. And especially the ability set, how you have like a set of hats you can pull out that do different things at any time you need them to. That is very similar to how Sly Cooper does things. And the stealth sections as well, and you know, this is the way you unlock new moves. It's, it's, it feels very similar to Sly Cooper, in my opinion. Okay, let's go ahead and get this. It's a more, it's more of a collectathon than Sly Cooper. This game is, but I mean, they're both just fantastic games. I would also say that, um, narratively, uh, Sly Cooper has a larger presence in its narrative. This is clearly a safe place for a child to be. Or I guess maybe not like a stronger narrative, if not more than a stronger toned narrative. Like there's a story to tell in Sly Cooper and there's a story to tell here, but it's also sort of, it, it doesn't sacrifice that for just being silly and funny and all that kind of stuff. And that's not a problem, it's just a difference. Okay, what? I spy some treasure. Treasure? Give it to me, I need it. So there's gonna be treasure over here. This is where we can find some good stuff. We can uh, sacrifice productivity for cool things. You know what, I'm always up to that. Oh boy. Oh, go up here, and jump off that. Yeah, you did it, that kid, good job. Don't have to scold you. I didn't want to scold you in the first place, that'd be mean. Okay, never mind. back to the scolding. Okay, oh gosh. <laughs> go up here. Yeah, okay, that was good. What I like is that if you don't use the double jump the first time, you can use it on the second time, that is really nice. And I think we've been going the right way so far. Get out of here, burning bird. I love our charge shot though. It's really helpful against these smaller enemies. There's our trinket. I always call it a trinket, but we only get rift tokens ever. I mean, maybe we've gotten all of the uh, trinkets. Like, I mean, maybe there's just less of them than I thought there was gonna be. I thought there was gonna be like a ton of them. Maybe we found them all. And now it's just a matter of putting them together because it really does you know, make sense that there wouldn't be too many if there really aren't too many platforms to put them on. I still need to find another platform for at least another one. All right, let's go ahead. 
I'm thinking about what to do here because I totally forget sometimes it's just blank. I just look at it, I'm like, what do I do, what do I do? Which way are we going then? Um, because that's the way I came from, right? No? No, I got shot out of the cannon, so this is the way I'm just supposed to go right now. Okay. I was like, huh, am I at a dead end? Because this is not the way I came from. This is way too difficult for that. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Yeah, we didn't come from this way. Because there wouldn't be a cannon waiting for us wherever we land, right? Or is there? Um, we're about to find out. We, yeah, they don't let cannons just hang out here um, where you land, but I can do this, no. I don't know why, sometimes it just doesn't feel like giving it to me, but it definitely does that. Oh gosh, I gotta stay in here long enough for that to restore, that's not fun. Oh, look at this, it's a giant knife in the cake. And we got another hat. I bet you I could jump over this gate, but I mean, yeah, you might actually be able to get a pretty decent skip out of this, depending on if you can land on this gate. Speedrunning tips by Zebra. Not very useful, but hey, they're there. You know, they exist, you can't say they don't. Oh jeez, no, that's not fair. Oh, hack it, yes, land on that, good job, good job. Oh, yeah, got more of them. That's all I want, more of this stuff, ow. And not to make silly mistakes like that, luckily I was able to bounce back on it during my invincibility frame, which is good. We can make an amateur mistakes here. Got to stay on my game a little bit better. Oh, nice, land right into that cannon and keep going upwards. This is actually like the tallest point so far. We seem to be on par with everything. Even though I don't remember going to the bird, yes I do. That was the first place we won, right? Maybe, maybe, I don't know. I think so. Now let's get rid of you. Actually, let's wait for this. That's the wrong way, hat kid. Okay, it would be cool if you know, some of these uh, gravestones could uh, hold, oh gosh, I am running out of time. And I know like that's the whole point of the game, haha. I don't, do I need that yarn? Is that yarn exactly necessary? It's not yet necessary, I have three. I have a whole three. Okay, we don't even need that platform. Don't even need it, get in my time piece. Oh, I just really didn't want to get a game over though. That would have been awful. Okay, we did it. Which means that maybe we're ready for the finale. You've cleared the lava cake, yay! Now what? Oh yeah, this thing. More allergies for everyone. You get an allergy and you do too. Ugh. Nasty. Oh my! Alpine's gone, the illness has spread. Oh no, we're a monster! What have we done? It was an illness the entire time? I guess that makes sense. Yeah, it's like blight. Oh my gosh. Well, we caused destruction again. I mean, technically in the timeline, didn't Mustache Girl already blow up the earth? Yeah, what happened there? I mean, I didn't really give that much thought. Oh no, can I just ride my, can I just, okay, good luck with this one, see it, and just ride this down, I guess I can't. Hmm, then what do I do, where do I go? Oh my, oh do I have to go to all the areas I've already been and like undo the blight? That'd be the worst, that'd be the worst if I had to redo everything? That might actually be out what I have to do. Luckily, it might be easier since if it might count like those things as completed, like you know, bridges or things that I might have opened up. Like I might not have to redo the horns, and that would make things easier. Um, well, we're, get the, we're gonna get to find out. Jump, jump, don't dive because I'm gonna hit my head. I'm a little noggin. Oh, hey, what was that for? Well, it looks like we're going this way first. It's not at the bird cage, but it's around there, so I can go over here. And I mean, just get as close as I can, really. I mean, it'll be a decent way to get some ponds. Oh gosh, wow, I cannot believe I landed on it. I'm very surprised with myself. Oh, ha, huh, I don't like it. Yeah, I think we gotta go that way. So, if we hold left here, typically we'd have to go over there, activate the horn, come back, and then do this. Or maybe vice versa. No, that's what we'd have to do. Um, Give me some of those ponds. We're getting closer, that's for sure. Yellow band hills. I think we already opened this chest, that's why it's an open chest instead of a closed one. Oh yeah, this is, how do I do this? Um, I guess I could just get around like that. <laughs> Not that big of a deal. Before we had to like break the crate to get to the staircase, or the, the ladder, main staircase. Yeah, it really does change things up. At least that's a little more interesting, okay. I thought it was gonna be basically replay the level, but it's slightly darker. That would have been silly, but that's not the case, which is awesome. Uh, beware, keep out, oh, well we were never over here, I don't think. Oh, it's a bunch of evil birds, oh no. 
Ouch, one of these blight flowers. This reminds me of Jack and Naxxon. There were some evil flowers you sort of had to fight in that game. I mean, more than anything, you were riding on the uh, the, the zoom grabber, or whatever it was called, and beating them, them up that way. Oh gosh, big guy. Can I just get away from him? I think so. All right, good, good, good. And then, gotcha. Um, or not? What do I gotta do here? <laughs> I don't have the antidote, if that's something I need. Uh, yeah, what do I do? It was showing me this like there's something significant here, which I'm sure there is. Maybe I could just, no. Weird, what do I do? Obviously I don't just show up. I mean, maybe there's something I could do around the neighborhood that was sort of missing. Hello, Yoon. You're just sort of sitting there being mad. Ow. Ow, oh gosh, you're shooting at me now. See, what's with that? Maybe I just like went too quick, it didn't activate something? I don't know, I'm really weirded out right now. Time slow down, maybe? Oh, oh, that worked! Okay, don't know why that worked, but it worked, okay. Whatever, what, what did the hat do? I don't know. <laughs> okay, so we're going up to somewhere over there, not over there now, okay, so we might as well make our way back to the main spot. Hmm, weird. They didn't really tell you, are you okay, buddy? Taking a nap? Can I hop on you, maybe? No, I just sort of go through you. That's actually really weird. Okay, this is really weird. This is probably the weirdest world yet, out of all of them. Ooh, okay, we're going. Whoa, okay, get out of here, birds. I forgot to get rid of you the first time. Cling. Cling. I mean, really, the challenge now, I guess is just making my way back as quickly as I can, just because I don't want to deal with it for very long. Ooh. Never mind to you, sir. But yeah, I guess back on my topic with uh, indie games, you know, being inspired by 3D platformers, I would really like to see more games like this, you know, for sure. And I wouldn't call Ukulele an indie game. I mean, it was kickstarted. I mean, I guess it was an indie game. They didn't have any kind of outside publishing, so I guess that makes it. I mean, they eventually got published by Team 17. So I guess eventually it became not an indie game, but it started as an indie game. Oh, come on. Where are you gonna start, me? Whoa, Um. okay. Oh, that's fine, actually, that was a shortcut. Hey, look at that, more uh, speedrun tips. Die there and you get to skip some. Uh, oh gosh, so I guess we'll go this way. I'm very low on health right now, but there's plenty of health to pick up around here. Ooh, another uh, yarn. Ooh. No, we picked that one up last episode at the very end, maybe it didn't save that. Weird, uh, and then we can pick up this little piece of health or fall on our bums, one of the two. Okay, well, we're doing all right. And then, uh, well, this one isn't the one I need. Well, I mean, I will have to go there eventually anyway, so we might as well. It's the freshest one to us, it'll be the most fun to explore, so why not? Okay, well, plenty of pawns to get here. Cool. I mean, of course, I would like to see more collectathons in general, you know, either inspired or not. I, d I mean, even if, like, Ukulele wasn't as good as I wanted it to be, it still hopefully started, you know, an interest in this kind of, you know, game again. I mean, between this, Ukulele, and Mario Odyssey, I would really hope that is the idea, is that people wanna see more stuff like this. I mean, that's sort of the, that's, you know, something I think people who maybe, I know about the lava cake lady. Um, I think that's sort of a uh, response some people have that I don't think is the best when they say like, oh, 3D yeah. platformers aren't dead, look at Mario 3D World and Mario 3D Land. It's like, yeah, but an entire genre can't sit on the back of one mustachioed plumber. You know, it's just like, I don't know. It's easy to say that kind of thing, I guess, if you're not the biggest fan of 3D platformers in the world, but it's just like saying like, oh, you don't need more 2D play, you don't need Rayman Legends, you don't need Sonic Mania, you have new Super Mario Brothers, you know? It's like, it's saying it's the same thing as that, so I've never been really a really fan of that response. Um, Because it's just like, while Mario 3D Land and 3D World weren't bad at all, they were decent games, they didn't they didn't scratch that same itch that Mario 64, Mario Odyssey, Hat in Time are itching, you know? So it's, I want that variety. I want that almost competition. I mean, obviously I don't think a Hat in Time is gonna be cutting off any sales of Mario Odyssey, not one bit, but I think really, the fact that people are excited for 3D platformers is a big deal. Am I going the wrong way, by the way? There's like nothing here. Oh yeah, I gotta, do stuff there. So let's not be a dingus, let's not go the wrong way and have to waste a bunch of our own time because we're talking too much about Mario Odyssey. 
<laughs> I can't wait. I mean, like I said, this game's a huge primer for me for Mario Odyssey. It comes out on the 27th. Okay, so we got more of this. For whatever reason, I have to slow down time. I honestly will just, you know, if they're gonna be shooting stuff at me, I'm definitely gonna go ahead and just like slow down time as much as I physically can. Ow. Wow. That's stinky. I guess it uh, bounced me off and I fell for 18 years. Um, That took a long time. <laughs> What? 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 Game? What? Why'd you stop wall jumping? <laughs> I'm glad I survived, but it just, the wall jumping didn't work. Oh, come on. I don't know why I'm both being so unlucky and lucky at the same time. It's ridiculous. What, if it's what I gotta deal with is what I, I gotta go back up there? Really? I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Ooh, got it. Wish there was more health around here, but there's not. Okay, and got it. Nice, okay, so let's go ahead and go across to here. There you go, there's some health. Oh, oh, oh boy, oh boy. Go, 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 go. Please dodge all that stuff. I said dodge it, that's not dodging it. All right, slow down time. I wish it was just like a health hat. Like you just get all your health back when you use them. That'd be nice. Okay, I gotta slow down time one more time. And then go, go, climb up, hat kid, climb up, and then freeze time. Yes, beat it up. Oh, I just gotta hit it multiple times. That was the idea. I might want to take off the, uh, the what's it called? I don't think it's helping me too much at this point. So we'll get rid of it. We will do no bonk badge. No, I think we gotta start doing that one. But I, I mean, it definitely helped because when I. Now when I dive into a wall, I just start wall jumping it, and I think that'll be gooder, better for platforming. Gooder is not a word, please don't use it like I almost did. Made myself look like a big old dingus. Get this health and try not to land on the fire that might just get rid of the health. Definitely the game has been ramping up its difficulty, which I'm not gonna complain about, that's a very good thing. Um, but it has a, a sense of progression, but it can be quite difficult at times. Oh geez. Okay, um, well, goodbye. Where am I now? I'm here. Uh, if that's where I want to be, I haven't answered yet, because I don't know the answer. Okay, so I might have died and gotten a game over, but it remembered my two things I got. From what I see, I tried to look for it. I didn't really see it, so I think it did remember it. If not, I'm gonna be very upset, but right now, I know the lava cave, it's fantastic and stuff, but I'm not really interested right now. I'm more interested in taking out spiders, because that's what I have to do to survive. Oh boy, it's so difficult. It's so unfortunately difficult. Oh boy. And then let's go ahead and get yeah. to the next area. Which should be that one. I guess don't hit the lava, please. Health is pretty precious in this area. Though of course the more difficult things get them, the, the less and less for health it seems to become, which is not good. But it'd be cool if maybe that was a how you could plot that maybe gave you like two extra HP to lose. I don't know. Maybe that, that'd be weird. I don't know, I just want more. I just want the game to be easier. That's always nice. <laughs> So I, I'm still at full health now, so I'll try to avoid this health as much as I can, because I don't want to waste it. So we'll go here. This is the area with the windmill, I believe. It looks like we're gonna have to go right. Left, right, oh, I hope I made the right choice there. Probably not, but we'll find, actually, maybe I did make the right choice. Ooh, right decisions are fun. Even if you have to go left to get them. Pick up some of these, that's good, that's good. And we're here. Oh my. Um. Oh yeah, I, I, I gotta be careful. These plants were here before, but they weren't as um, budding, I guess. Am I doing the right thing here? Don't get mad at me. I don't wanna hear no attitude from you. I'm about to save your life. I changed hats! I changed hats! Why do we fall for like seven years in this level? Like whenever there's the, the this evil stink going around, it just changes the, uh, the amount you could fall for whatever reason. Maybe I gotta get on top of this building. I might as well check now and you know not have to worry about it if I don't. It doesn't look like it found. Or maybe, maybe it's at least a nice shortcut. Yeah, I can't even go this way. The sink holds it holds it away. You must not pass because it is stinky. Um, oh yeah, that's where the trinket is, so it's not a big deal. Or whatever it's called. All right, another one of these darn things. Let's go for it. Um, oh, get out of there. Okay, run, hack kid, run. I can't even see what's happening right now. Where am I even going? Ow, that hurt. Go, go, go. Get the health. Thank you, thank you. Jump, jump. If I jump where there aren't really 
you know, any ground. That might help. Ow, that hurt though. That hurt big time. Please leave me alone, giant yak. Please don't talk back. Oh, oh. Yeah, okay, we did it, we did it. So I thought that was slowing down time before. That health, it wasn't, it's just I had to beat it up more. Yay, wait, that did it? I thought there was gonna be one more. Okay, we saved the town. Maybe they just felt four was a little too much. All right, very laggy. Is it over? The air is clear again. Hooray! And the goats seem to have come to their senses again. I don't really understand it, but I assume we have you to thank. I had no idea that they were goats. We found this in a cluster of those flowers after they wilted again. You were pretty insistent on going after the others, so I guess it belongs to you? Maybe. Uh, thank you for helping us. No problem, even though we might have we, we might have caused it, so. Well, if we get a timepiece, I'm certainly not explaining. I don't want them to ask for it back. So, we're gonna get timepiece number 34. <laughs> All right, I'm so glad we are making such good progress. I, I know the save file thing before I started today's episode said I was 40, or not 40, 80% into the game, which is like, oh, we are so close. But that's chapter four done. Yet again, I'm pretty, um, brief, I wouldn't say brief chapter, but it was pretty snappy. It was just like, go here, go there, do this, do that, you're done. Um. Instead of, you know, something like chapter two, which I thought that was gonna be more similar to how the rest of the chapters would be, but that's totally fine, I'm not opposed to it. You know one thing we haven't checked in a while? I don't think I'll be doing it in today's episode, but I'll definitely check. Do we finally have the ability to do whatever we needed to do to finish chapter one? We've been missing an ability that I don't know if we have yet for act five of chapter one. If we do, we'll check that out at the beginning of next episode. Um. Yeah, it's right here. Okay, for a second, I don't know why, but my eyes just ignored everyone except for this one. So yes, um, we'll worry about that in the next episode, but for now, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of A Hat in Time. I forgot about the, the burning planet. If you watch this part of video, make sure you comment Zebra Goat so now you've watched at the end and that you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.